Hi everybody, welcome back to another Jackson Jet Setting Resort Review. Today we're checking out the Mauna Kea Beach Hotel on the Big Island of Hawaii. It's an autograph collection branded hotel in the Marriott Bonvoy program. We stayed here using points and we were absolutely blown away, so let's check it out. So self-parking and valet are both $30 a night, so we valeted our car. The main entrance of the hotel is across from the driving range of the golf course and the entire lobby is open air. This hotel was built by Lawrence Rockefeller and opened in 1965. It was uh, a big splash. It was one of the top three hotels written by Forbes magazine when it premiered that year. Um, and they've kept it up in great shape. It's just really incredible and architecture fans will love this hotel. So let's walk down from the main lobby to the beach and check out some of the resort's amenities. Uh, the gym was partially open air. They actually had their regular gym open as well, but all the cardio equipment out here in the open so that people didn't have to wear masks, which was nice. Um, there were some macaws nearby as well. And in this next shot, you'll see the main hotel overlooking the entire beach. Um, just a really spectacular location. You can see the coral right here um, that you can snorkel out to very easily from the beach, which is uh, a little rare on the Big Island, so really, really nice. Here's the main pool. You can tell it was built a while ago because one end is about 10 feet deep, AKA there used to be a diving board. So that's pretty fun detail that I noticed. And here's the beach. Uh, everyone can get a beach chair, towels, and, and umbrellas you can rent. Paddle boards and kayaks, etc. cetera here. Um, really a great beach. Um, it is partially public because it is Hawaii and no beaches are actually private. Notably too, there's no resort fee at the Mauna Kea, which is really nice, especially if you're using points in Marriott. Um, notably, Marriott still charges resort fee on award bookings, which Hilton and Hyatt do not. There's a spa, of course. Uh, and then at night, you know, around sunset, it just really lights up the entire resort. It's just absolutely beautiful overlooking the ocean. You have uh, a really famous activity on the big island, which is manta ray night diving and night snorkeling, which you can actually do right from the resort as well. So you can see some people starting to do that right now. There are three main restaurants on property. One is the Beach Bar, which is also open for dinner. It's where you can get the famous Frederico, which is the resort's signature cocktail. Here's Copper Bar, which is open at night and kind of more of a, a bar setting, but they do have a full food, food menu. Here's some of those manta ray snorkelers and you can actually see some of the manta rays pop up here and we shot this right from short right of the resort so you don't even have to get wet to see some manta rays at night here so you can find this area right below the main resort on uh, the, the path that kind of follows the beach um, above this is appropriately the restaurant manta which is the resort's fine dining uh, establishment and also where you can grab breakfast in the morning as a Marriott elite. Um, it is a continental breakfast but it's absolutely gigantic and uh, normally they have a buffet but due to COVID they were doing plated plated food which is nice um, but great views from Manta here um, both day and night. If you follow the beach path north of Manta you'll come across the tennis garden which uh, is offered up to guests even though it is a private club um, I believe it's $25 per person for a court reservation. It's a little pricey, but there's also golf right on property. It's one of the best golf courses in Hawaii. Uh, two big signature ocean holes that you see here. Um, I managed to play it. It was pretty fun and a great time. The uh, National Historical Trail here is that beach trail that I was talking about. It follows the entire resort and actually you can walk for about a mile um, a little south and hit the Westin, which is um, partnered with the Mauna Kea. They're both in the Marriott um, brand of properties and you can charge um, dinner back to your room if you're dining at the Westin, which is nice. So you have a few more restaurants beyond what you have at the uh, Mauna Kea Beach Hotel. And you'll pass uh, the beach volleyball courts. It's just really, really a pretty spot. Um, here's a view back of the resort on that trail. And then we'll show you a few shots of the Westin here just so you have an idea. Uh, the Westin's priced a little bit uh, cheaper, but still pretty expensive compared to the 
Mauna Kea just doesn't have, I guess, the history, but still has an incredible beach. Um, and I, I thought that the pools looked a little bit nicer here at the uh, West End compared to the Mauna Kea. So if you're a big pool person, you might want to choose this one instead of the Mauna Kea. But overall, I think both are great choices. And here's that lobby of the West End. So from here, let's head back to the Mauna Kea Beach Hotel and check out our room, which was a beautiful oceanfront room. Um, didn't get upgraded to a suite as a titanium here but we've got, I think, the best room possible that isn't a suite. Um, you'll see from the views here as we make our way up the stairs. Uh, this was on the sixth floor. Um, you'll notice that it's definitely a little small. Um, it's, it's a historic room. It's, you know, from 1965, but I think they've kept it up incredibly and made it look, you know, as, as new as it can while still keeping a lot of those architectural details that make it really unique. Um, so a really small bathroom, I will say. Um, you know, some of the tile looks like it is definitely from the 60s, but again, kept up really nicely. The tub is like one of the deepest looking tubs I've ever seen. Um, so that was definitely a little strange, and uh, I don't know really how you could take a bath in there. Um, definitely can't fully stretch out. So if you're into that, maybe choose a different hotel. Um, but here's the main bedroom, one king bed, um, lots of little gifts. Um, we had a welcome amenity of some banana bread, which is really nice. Um, and Moving out to what you come to Hawaii for, the view. Uh, this is the beautiful oceanfront view from our room, which just, I mean, you have the sunset, you have the entire beach. It just doesn't get any better than this in Hawaii. So overall, we absolutely love this hotel. We'll definitely be back. I definitely think it's a good use of points. We paid 70,000 points a night for our room, um, and I wouldn't hesitate to spend that again. Um, and if you can have a fifth night free reservation in advance, I think, uh, the room rates drop um, a lot, even on points, given Marriott's demand-based pricing. 